So, uh, Assalamu alaikum. I am Maham Firoz, Marketing Officer at PFL Education. So, PFL Education is one of the leading UK owned and managed student placement agencies. We offer the widest range of services and commitment to our student customers who are seeking higher education to UK, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, USA, and UAE. Uh, so today we have with us Mr. Shoza Babas, who is the regional manager of Asia Pacific University, and he is going to talk about the life at Malaysia. So, uh, sir, first of all, I would like uh, you to tell us something about APU. Thank you, Mom. Thank you so much, uh, Team PSL. Uh, my name is Shozab and I'm from Asia Pacific University. Uh, Asia Pacific University of Technology and Innovation is located in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Uh, it's known for technology programs, specifically more towards information technology, engineering technologies, computing technology, and any field related to these areas. For example, we are uh, uh, we are very much uh, uh, you know known for. Uh, the new developing markets, for example, if we talk about uh, cloud computing, social media, new creative media, then we also offer different programs in the field of uh, Internet of Things, uh, cybersecurity, data informatics, data science. So there are multiple options available at Asia Pacific University. All right. So, um, so let's begin with the uh, question answers. So, uh, firstly, I would like to know about the environment of your at uh, your university and what are the main attractions of your location. Uh, Asia Pacific University of Technology Innovation is located in Kuala Lumpur. Uh, Kuala Lumpur is one of the largest city in the world. Uh, it's the main hub for business in Malaysia. Uh, if you talk about the environment of the university campus is very friendly. We have different communities within the university. We have different student clubs, and we also have student uh, uh, bodies. Uh, they always have their meetings. They have they elect their president, vice president, general secretary. So this is very creative and very inform. In, uh, I would say it's very uh, very much informative for students because they learn from each other. They learn from their cultures they learn how to treat with people from different nations as you know we have students from over 130 countries so it's a good opportunity for any student coming from pakistan to explore about the culture of different nationalities right so uh, does the university provide any on-campus accommodation to the students and what are the costs and other benefits linked to it uh, Maham, uh, we have multiple options at Asia Pacific University for our students if they want to stay. Uh, for example, we call it as on-campus accommodation, which is within the university building. Uh, it's block J1 and J2. So if any student wants to stay on-campus accommodation, uh, we have facility available. Secondly, uh, we do offer off-campus accommodations as well. Uh, which is located almost around two to three kilometers away from university campus, and it's very affordable. For example, if we talk about uh, Fortune Park, then we also have another accommodation called Endo Promenade. Uh, then we also offer satellite accommodation campus. I mean, there are multiple options for students to stay on campus and also off campus accommodation. So, um... What different curricular, extracurricular act, uh, st uh, studies are provided to the students at APU? The, for example, if, if, if a student is very much interested in cricket, uh, I mean, most of the Pakistani students have this interest. So we have our own cricket team, APU cricket team. Uh, they can go for their trials. And uh, uh, if, they are, if they are good at cricket, if they are good at batting, or if they are good at fielding or maybe if they are good at bowling, they can always get selected for the team. Uh, 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 frankly speaking, uh, we have a lot of Pakistani students in our trial list and we also have a lot of Pakistani students in our in our APU team. Uh, then we also have our local teams like, you know, 
uh, students have made their own cricket club uh, and they uh, go for different matches in different areas in Malaysia. It's very interesting for those who have interest in, in cricket, not just cricket, but also badminton, football, swimming. Uh, there are multiple options available. Uh, frankly speaking, if we talk about extracurricular activities at Asia Pacific University, we encourage our students to, uh, to, to develop their skills uh, in terms of uh, uh, sales, marketing, for example, if, if they are studying marketing, they have to be very good at marketing. If they're studying something related to business, they should know uh, everything about business. So we ask them to, to have you know, a practical uh, assignment, I would say something related to sales, something related to promotion, something related to developing a new business. Uh, so we ask them to have this, uh, you know, uh, one assignment and uh, they will be marked according to that. So these are extracurricular activities, not just that. Uh, if you're good at uh, uh, singing or maybe music or dance or drama, so we have these clubs as well. Uh, students can join these clubs and, uh, you know, they can polish their skills. Sir, apart from these, does the university provide any other uh, like recreational activities? All right. So it's part of the course, basically, that we ask students to go for field visits, uh, going for industrial visits. Uh, it's actually part of their course. So if they are studying uh, tourism management program, we ask them to go for, you know, uh, uh, for a tourist spot. They can visit the tourist spot and they, they have to manage uh, manage a manage a group of students and they have to you know promote that event and they have to make a group and transport and food and lodging they have to arrange everything this is also part of their course curriculum but besides that it's not just within malaysia uh, we also ask them to arrange for other countries uh, we had uh, an exchange program and we also brought them for maldives and different countries so actually it it, it helps students to develop their skills, their, their personal, interpersonal skills, and there are multiple options for students at Asia Pacific University if they are planning to, to develop something in their own way. Right. So, uh, so as you know that it's not easy to leave your homes and go abroad and study. So how do you uh, help your students when they feel homesick? All right. Uh, uh, Honestly speaking, uh, uh, I have not seen many students having this problem, but um, yeah, uh, it happens. It happens for maybe a couple of hours in the beginning because uh, the moment they land at the airport, one of our colleagues, uh, basically, uh, he is right there at the airport to receive the student uh, from the airport, bring him in the university transport to the accommodation or to the university campus. And uh, we have this team of students, uh, which is known as welcome team. So this welcome team are basically our second year or third year students. They welcome students and, you know, they bring them around to, uh, to show where they can buy grocery, from where they can find good food, uh, how is the accommodation, uh, where's the campus, uh, how to take the bus, how to uh, book a cab. So they, they help students. Uh, I don't find uh, uh, I don't find any students who get homesick, but uh, let's say if, if there is a case, uh, we do have a psychiatrist uh, and a psychologist at our campus. Uh, he's all, she's always there and she can assist students with the counseling part. Uh, so I think this is something really important. Uh, even though if things get worse, then we also have a clinic and uh, our professional doctors are right there to assist our students. So, what are the basic students can have in Malaysia? Uh, all right, Maham, uh, you know, Malaysia itself is an Islamic country. So, um, uh, the food is always halal. Uh, so, uh, if, if, you, if you go to the university campus, you find halal food there. Uh, we do have uh, biryani at our campus. Uh, we do have uh, chicken curry at our campus they're away from home but eventually sometimes we do find that you know we have this couple about the craving and you know we want to go for uh, for faluda and also uh, there are options available within kuala lumpur there are multiple pakistani restaurants there are a lot of pakistani restaurants in, in kuala lumpur uh, you can always plan for a weekend and 
uh, yeah, that's that's how you know friends plan their uh, weekend. So you can always go for a movie and go for some uh, you know uh, they see dinner at the same time. So there are there are good options available. That's right. So, uh, so how do students manage their social life along their uh, jobs and education? Um, okay. So if 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 there is a student. Uh, APU student and he is part of the library team or maybe IT lab. Uh, so he must have a semester break. Uh, you know, if there is a semester break or if there is a break for more than two weeks, we can take him for this uh, responsibility. We can give him this responsibility and uh, he can be part of the library as library assistant or maybe IT lab as, uh, as IT assistant, uh, lab assistant. Uh, then we also ask students to join our uh, marketing team as uh, you know going for events travel with us uh, then we also ask students to to be part of our uh, our social media team if you're good at uh, cameras if you're good at uh, you know coming in front of the camera even so you can always join our social media team and become part of it uh, so this is actually one of the way how they manage their uh, you know their studies if they have a break within the semester, we ask, we, we actually allow them to be part of these things. Right. So, uh, so what are the other perks of studying at APU for the international students, like any events or activities? All right. So as you know, Asia Pacific University have students from over 130 countries. Uh, honestly speaking, uh, letting you know that uh, every day there is an Independence Day celebrated by these students in our campus. It's very happening. It's very multicultural. Uh, people learn through events. We ask students to come over and join the uh, events, uh, which is organized by different nationalities. For example, uh, uh, being a Pakistani, I can tell you that we have this Pakistani student community. And they organize uh, multiple events. For example, there was this uh, you know, rivalry match, which is uh, which is nothing less than a war, which is Pakistan versus India cricket match T20 three years back. And we had this event our, at our campus. Uh, you know what, Maham? Students from, from the whole city, all Pakistani and Indian students were there at our campus. They wanted That's to amazing. have their feel. This was the, the most happening thing uh, I have seen at our campus. But yeah, we do celebrate 23rd March. We also celebrate 14th, this, uh, 14th August at our campus. And uh, we ask students to you know, prepare food and uh, we ask them to prepare uh, nice dresses, come up with new ideas, dance performances, some patriotic performances. And then we also prepare uh, drama performance as well. So uh, you know, these events are good for students to learn about different cultures and we ask our friends from different nationalities to come over and join the event. That's right. So, uh, so uh, according to you, what would be the daily routine of these students studying abroad, specifically in Malaysia? Uh, all right, so let's, let's, let's become a little serious on this question. Mom, uh, you know, uh, parents always spend a lot of money and students spend a lot of energies to make their dreams happen. Uh, so for that, we encourage students to be on time for their classes because the first class starts at 8.30 in the morning. So they have to be on time. Uh, secondly, uh, they have breaks within the day, uh, but the last class ends at 6.30 in the evening. So from 8 in the morning, from 8.30 in the morning until 6.30 in the evening, we, we encourage and we prefer students to be uh, within the, the campus premises. Uh, after their classes they can be at home for another two or three hours take proper rest do their you know assignments and all um, they can have a good rest at night and then come back to the campus in the morning but uh, friday afternoon onwards until monday morning they are free there are no classes over the weekend so they can go around they can always go to different places in the in the city they can explore different cities within Malaysia. You know, Malaysia is a tourist spot, so it's an opportunity for students to uh, to just you know visit different places. As you mentioned, like Malaysia is the best tourist spot 
so uh, i would li I like to ask like it is the best tourist spot and it is located near like the tourist neighboring country so are these students allowed to travel within the, within the country or outside for vacations and holidays uh students are free to travel within the country they can always go to different cities uh, for example uh, there is a city called proton city uh, there is a city called ipo there is a city called taiping then there is another city called uh, alor star uh, then there are more cities within malaysia so you can always travel from kuala lumpur to other cities uh, and explore their culture their lifestyle uh, different food you can always travel to different cities through bus or you can take a train as well uh, uh, students are free to travel within the country but uh, if if we talk about traveling from malaysia to another country for example uh, singapore is just next door so if if you are planning to go to singapore you need a visa apply for a visa and then you can travel to singapore uh, from kuala lumpur to singapore it's almost around Four to five hours drive, and uh, uh, if you if you want to travel to Thailand, that is also possible. You can take a bus as well again, and uh, students are free to travel. But if they have break, they can travel. Otherwise, they have to focus on their studies. So, uh, sir, lastly, I would um, like you to recommend to the students who are planning to join APU for higher studies, like attestations, police certificates, or any other documents required. All right, Maham. Uh, this is really important for students who are actually planning to apply for next upcoming intake in July, and there's another intake which is in September. Uh, so uh, the most important thing is that all your documents must be clearly scanned. Number two, you must have your passport valid for at least two years. Uh, number three, the most important thing, your picture must be very clear and very visible because. that picture will be used for your visa for your id card for your uh, travel bus pass so everywhere if you if you in if in your picture you don't look like yourself it means uh, you know it's a problem then then we have to take a new picture and then uh, moving ahead if you talk about the attestations uh, we only need clear documents and we know how to do the attestations we get it done through online process so that's nothing to worry for students Uh, would you like to add something uh, uh yeah uh, again uh, as we talk about it last uh, uh, last week as well uh, we should not let covid be a hurdle in our uh, career development we should not allow covid to be um, you know a speed breaker for our our journey towards success we should not allow covid to block our ways from reaching the goal and the destination keep moving keep moving keep moving uh, you will find the right program you will be at the right university uh, but make sure you get vaccinated uh, and make sure you, you you apply for the admission and make sure you have the right consultants so the first step is to come to psl office find the right counselor for yourself submit your documents for evaluation get your admission done and uh, yeah we'll welcome you at the Kuala Lumpur International Airport that's it from my side thank you so much maham thank you so much team tfl uh, i really appreciate your effort i hope uh, uh, this session will help students to find the right destination and the right program for themselves thank you Have a nice day. Bye bye.